What's up guys, I'm Tom Straker and we are back with Tasty Business. I've been on a butter hiatus and we're back with a banger, fresh tagliatelle with mussels. That's right, pasta with mussels as I said. Sustainable seafood, picked down in Cornwall these are, juicy and a lovely flavour in the pasta. We're going to take the shells off, we're going to make the pasta fresh. Quite a quick recipe, delicious, easy, skillful. On to the pasta. Right, we need zero, zero flour. It's a fine ground. This is an Italian farina di grano. 330 grams of zero, zero flour. And we're going to go in with eight egg yolks. I want a super yellow, super rich dough. So that means lots of yolks. We're going to add in one whole egg. Olive oil. Just a little touch, 50 mil. What we're going to do is turn on the machine. This is the easiest way to make pasta, by the way. If you need it by hand, you've obviously got too much time or you haven't got a food processor, I don't know. <laughs> egg yolks, drop them in. You just want to bring it in so it's a rough crumb. That's what I'm looking for. Pasta is done. And look, you, look, if you can just bring it up and clump it together in your hand, look, the dough is made. You just need to bring that together on the workbench. Just gonna flatten that out. Do a nice round. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it in cling film so it doesn't dry out. You can use that within like half an hour. Give it a nice rest. That's the pasta done. Next things first, mussels. Not these ones. Oh, little pigeons. What I'm gonna do with these mussels is I've already given them a quick wash in water and I de-bearded de them. And you need to just pull that out before you cook them, because otherwise it's like a little bit of string. It's like a little bit of rope. Hey, anyway, we're gonna cook these boys now. Get a nice little pot on. I'm gonna set that pan to a high heat, get it nice and uh, nice and pumping. We wanna give every element of this dish a bit of flavor, okay? So once that's heating up, I'm just gonna chop one shallot, a few sticks of celery. We're gonna put some more mirepoix inside the pasta, but this one is just gonna be for cooking the mussels. So we've got some, Leeks, we've got some celery, we've got some shallots. If you season at every stage, you don't have to put like, there's not such a big fix to make at the end. God, this knife is sharp as hell. This is the first prototype of my uh, of my knife, which which all sold out. We may or may not be doing some more. Just gonna crush a few cloves, a couple of cloves of garlic. Smash it, skin on, I don't, don't matter. We're not using the veggies. Oil in. Veg in. So you just put the lid on there quickly, just let them sweat quickly. Okay, so this veg here is obviously smelling good. It's gonna add a bit of flavor, it's gonna add a bit of sweetness. I'm just gonna season the veg a bit with some salt. We'll add in the white wine, probably like 100 mil. And we'll chuck in all of these mussels. And all these aromats here, just put them over the top. Lid on, full whack, one minute. Let them steam, let them open. Okay, look at that, see, these muscles are just about starting to open now. Oh God, that, can you hear that hit of um, thyme and rosemary and oh, all those muscles are opening. Big fat juicy boys. So what we're gonna do is we're straining off all the veggies, all the muscles, all the wine, all the liquor, because this is gonna be used for the sauce. So all this muscle meat is gonna get chopped. Well, you can either leave it whole, you can chop it up. It binds the pasta a bit better. If they don't, if they're not open, just don't even, don't even fuck about with them. He had a muscle baby in there. That looks like he's from fucking out of space. I love finishing a job like that. It's just so rewarding. Look then, we've got all this nice muscle uh, juice and then we're just gonna strain that off. Just in case any shell or Captain Barnacles goes in there. So I'm just gonna chop the muscles, yeah? Quite a good yield from that. One, two, five knives worth. Six, is that a measuring unit? <laughs> For the mirepoix, we just need leek, onion, celery. We don't need a huge amount, we're just making one portion, so one clove of garlic. Good little hack for celery, you know it's curved, just smash it down, and then you can dice it up. We want to cook the veg quickly, but we don't want a big lumpy veg. We want soft veg, fresh tasting. So we're just doing a half a shallot. Lovely heel to tip rocking motion. We've got equal amount of shallot celery and leek. If you don't clean your board, 
your mug. Peel one clove of garlic, grate it. Muscle and garlic, very good friends. Last thing we need to chop, and then we can get rid of the chopping board. Chives. You see, I've always tapped up the veg, you know, to get them straight. You can get a bit more aggressive. Well, there's four knives worth of chives. Lovely dough, not too hard, not too soft. Right, where's my, where, do I have a rolling pin here or did I take it to the restaurant? I took it to the restaurant, which means I'm gonna use my cling film. Most of your pasta, you don't need too much flour on the bench. We have a little bit. So just go through, work it through this machine. Okay, we're gonna go down to about number, the halfway point. Fold this up just so we can level it up, make it the right size. And then you're laminating it, giving it a little bit more strength. So look, here we go like this, boom, laminate the dough. And then we go back through, back through at the thickest and keep working it down. If you're stacking these for a long time, you will need to just put a little bit of semolina in between them. Then I'll go for tag. Slightly thicker version of Halilini. Look at that, it looks beautiful. For a portion, you're looking at about 85 to 100 grams of pasta is a nice portion. Just gonna dust this bit of semolina to make a nest, just grab it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of butter. This is on a medium heat. A little bit, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, veggies in. Same base as what we did for cooking the mussels. Yeah, consistent. Salt in the mirepoix. Okay, that garlic gets cooked off. So it's about 50 ml of white wine. Just gonna reduce that down quickly. And then the last few bits to go in. So we've got the mussel liquor. It's quite salty, that mussel liquor. So you've gotta be careful with that. So you wanna put that in reduced by about a third, okay? So put in 100 ml. We're gonna take it down to about 66. A little bit spicy, creamy, seafoody. Whilst that's going on, Make sure we've got heavily salted pasta. So this is my pasta basket. It's actually a colander. Uh, it's actually a sieve, but I've, I think I lent my pasta basket to the restaurant. Pasta goes in, okay? Make sure it's a nice rolling boil. Big old pile of mussels. It's essentially what the dish is about. It's a mussel pasta. Be prepared with one lemon. Lemon zest. Okay, pasta's coming out. We're going to just toss that all around. You see the sauce will start to thicken up. Just going to add in a touch more butter, the creaminess. And also take some of that pasta water. Okay, so now lemon zest chives and olive oil to finish and that is it and then i suppose you just gotta tuck in oh, i haven't said that for a while <laughs> smells delicious smells amazing mm. spicy little bit of kick little bit of zest the pasta's really really still got a bite oh my god it's good I mean, it's simple, it's mirepoix, mussels, mirepoix, mussels, pasta, everything all in one. You know, use three pans, took me a little bit of time, but it's worth it. It's a tasty business.